You may not be super familiar with his name, but we're willing to bet you've probably seen his face. He was one of the most prolific actors of Hollywood's golden age, appearing in nearly a hundred films and countless TV shows. In this video, we're taking a look at the life and career of Kenneth Toby, who died December 22, 2002, at the age of 85. Facts First presents Kenneth Toby's cause of death still shocks us today. Kenneth Jesse Toby was born March 23, 1917, in Oakland, California. His father Jesse was a salesman for an oil company, while his mother was a homemaker named Alma. He had two older sisters, Helen and Dorothy. Toby grew up in a middle-class family that valued education and culture. He attended Oakland High School, where he excelled in sports and academics. From an early age, he became interested in theater and joined the school's drama club. After graduating high school, he enrolled at University of California at Berkeley, where he planned to study law. But he soon realized he had an intense passion for acting. He transferred to UCLA, where he joined the Little Theater Group. There, he met other aspiring actors like Gregory Peck, Eli Wallach, and Tony Randall. Toby graduated from UCLA with a bachelor's degree in drama in 1939. He then moved to New York City, where he studied at the Neighborhood Playhouse School of Theater for a year and a half under Sanford Meisner. Rise to Fame Toby made his Broadway debut in 1941 with a relatively minor, albeit memorable, role in Johnny Belinda, a play about a deaf and mute girl who's sexually assaulted by her cousin. The play was later adapted into an Oscar-winning film starring Jane Wyman. During this period, Toby appeared in other Broadway plays like Winged Victory, Mr. Roberts, The Cane Mutiny, and A View from the Bridge. Around this time, he also worked as an understudy for Henry Fonda, John Garfield, and Paul Muni. During World War II, Toby served as an officer in the U.S. Navy Air Corps. He flew missions over Europe and Africa as part of Squadron VB-110 and was awarded several medals for his bravery and service. After returning from the war, Toby resumed his acting career on stage and screen. He made his film debut with an uncredited role as a sailor in 1947's Dangerous Venture, a Hopalong Cassidy Western. He then landed his first major film role as Captain Patrick Hendry, the leader of an Arctic expedition that discovers an alien spacecraft buried under ice, in 1951's The Thing from Another World. The film was produced by Howard Hawks, one of Hollywood's most acclaimed directors of that era, who gave Toby creative freedom and encouraged him to improvise dialogue. The Thing from Another World was one of the first sci-fi films to deal with themes like paranoia, isolation, and distrust among humans facing an unknown enemy. It was likewise one of the first films to feature realistic special effects like animatronics, pyrotechnics, and the incorporation of stylized matte paintings. The film was a huge hit with critics and audiences, and ultimately it became one of Toby's most memorable roles. It also helped establish him as one of Hollywood's leading men. Career Highlights Toby continued to star and co-star in films and TV shows of different genres. He became one of the most recognizable faces of 1950s sci-fi cinema, working with legendary animator Ray Harryhausen on two films, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms and It Came from Beneath the Sea. In these two now-iconic films, he played a military officer who faced giant monsters that threatened major cities. Toby also had his own TV series, Whirly Birds, where he portrayed an adventurous helicopter pilot who ran a charter service with his partner. The series was produced by Desilu Productions and ran for 111 episodes from 1957 to 60. Toby's career spanned more than half a century and included appearances in acclaimed films such as 12 O'Clock High, The Wings of Eagles, and Gunfight at the OK Corral. He later guest starred on popular TV shows like Perry Mason, Batman, and Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Family Life Toby was married once to June Hutton, a singer and actress who was previously married to Axel Storda and was at one point tied to Frank Sinatra Jr. They tied the knot in 1968 and remained together until Hutton's death from cancer in 1973. They had one daughter, Tina Toby. Private Struggles Kenneth Toby faced many challenges throughout his life and career. He served as a fighter pilot in World War II, and he suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder after witnessing the horrors of war. Following his time in the service, he struggled with alcoholism for many years and had several run-ins with the law for drunk driving and disorderly conduct. Toby also faced discrimination and typecasting as an actor because of his rugged appearance and deep voice. He was often cast as tough guys or authority figures like military officers or police detectives. 
Because of this, he rarely got to play romantic leads or complex characters that showcased his range in talent. He also suffered from health problems later on, like diabetes, arthritis, and heart disease. Despite his struggles, he continued to work until his retirement in 1997. Politics Kenneth Toby was a staunch conservative who supported Republican candidates and causes throughout his life. He was famous for being an outspoken critic of communism, liberalism, feminism, civil rights movements, environmentalism, and LGBTQ rights movements. On top of that, he firmly believed America should maintain its military strength and its moral values against foreign enemies and domestic threats. He was a devout Christian who attended church regularly and read the Bible daily. His faith moved him to donate money to various religious charities. Toby's Death and Legacy Kenneth Toby died of natural causes at his home in Rancho Mirage, California on December 22, 2002. He was 85 years old. He was survived by his daughter, Tina. Kenneth Toby left behind a legacy of hundreds of films and TV shows that spanned more than half a century. He was admired by fans and filmmakers who appreciated his rugged charm, commanding presence, and versatile talent. Kenneth Toby's death was mourned by many Hollywood celebs and colleagues who worked with him or knew him personally. Some of these stars included James Arness, who co-starred with him in The Thing from Another World, Ray Harryhausen, who created the special effects for some of his sci-fi films, Joe Dante, who directed him in Gremlins 2, The New Batch, and Tom Weaver, who interviewed him extensively for several books. Kenneth Toby will forever be remembered as one of the most prolific and iconic actors of American cinema and TV history. He'll also be remembered for his conservative views, political activism, and religious faith. And to his surviving family members and friends, he'll continue to be remembered as a committed family man, father, and ally. Now it's time to hear from you. How will you remember Kenneth Toby? And which one of his films or TV shows was your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below.